Good morning. Good morning and welcome to your Monday edition of This Morning. Now, as you can see, we're starting the show outside today and that's because of a very special reason. Here at This Morning, we never shy away from stories that can sometimes be difficult to discuss and, uh, and who would doubt that one of the most heartbreaking can be the loss of a loved one to suicide. But it's the shocking truth that every single week in Britain, 84 men take their own lives. Those numbers can sometimes be hard to visualise. Well, that's why today we're unveiling 84 life-size sculptures, each representing a real man who has taken his own life in the hope that it will stop people in their tracks, make them pay attention and get them talking. Yeah, well, as you can see, there are 12 sculptures on our This Morning roof. Uh, that amount signifying the number of men who take their own life each day. Well, there are another 72 on top of our ITV building, which totals 84. The number of men who kill themselves each week. All of the sculptures will be up all week as part of a joint campaign called Project 84 with the charity Calm to highlight men's mental health and suicide prevention. Well, in just a moment, we're going to be speaking to three sisters who have been affected by suicide. Uh, their father, Paul, is one of the sculptures on our roof today yeah. and so he's actually the one that's just above the letter I that's right that uh, that signifies um, <clears throat> Paul and if we have a look at the uh, the other sculptures um, that we've got the the 84 um, they've been made for our project by sculptor Mark Jenkins he's a, an American artist best known for his uh, street installations often uh, made using tape as a casting medium the men on our roof are all made uh, made from tape it took 25 crew over a week to build, 100 trips up the lift to the tower, 1,500 metres of scaffolding tube, 1,150 scaffolding clips. Each sculpture uses 20 rolls of 40 metre tape. That's 800 metres for each sculpture. And it's been made possible by sponsorship from Harry's Grooming for Men. So thank you to Harry. 75% of, uh, of suicides in the UK are male. That's unbelievable, isn't it? It was such a... So I was driving up to the building this morning to come to work, just looking up at our tower, which is such a sort of dominating sight, isn't it, on the South Bank? And yeah. to see that at the top, it's just incredibly powerful. If you're walking down here today, come and have a look. Well, it's amazing how many people are walking past yeah, and uh, stopping yeah. and, and looking and, and taking pictures. Also, because it's such a stunning day, we're so lucky yeah. to have a beautiful day, they're all silhouetted against the, the sunshine uh, at the moment. Yeah. Powerful, well, while powerful. we're launching our Project 84 campaign today, men's mental health is some, something that we often tackle on the show with some very famous faces sharing their stories. You're having a 20 pan yeah. uh, panic attacks a day. You, mm. you said you'd considered suicide. You spent two and a half weeks in a psychiatric hospital in New York. You know, so this yeah. was all-consuming. Just, I just couldn't deal with the... Uh... With, with the pressure, I, and it was mainly the pressure I was putting on myself, as I've said many times before, I felt like I needed to be the, the best X Factor winner that, that there'd ever been. I was beating myself up. I didn't really see, I didn't have much self-worth. I was still a lost little boy and I didn't know how to cope with it. And we didn't talk for five years, and the year before he ended up taking his own life, I reached out to him just before Christmas, and we were meant to meet the day after Boxing Day, and I lost my temper. It was the first time I'd ever really told him how I felt and I said you know it's not about me coming to play happy families this is about me and you sitting down as adults and talking about everything that's happened and finally putting it to rest and he started to start and I couldn't respond rationally anymore and that was the last words that you, you yeah said to him. until a, a Wednesday morning when my nan came into my room and said dad dad's on himself I can understand mm. yeah and I just wish that and the only thing I would, I would just wish I could have spoken to him. Yeah. My identity, my, my lack of self-worth at that time, um, it brought me down to a point where I, I felt absolutely uh, useless, of no worth to anyone. I genuinely believed that, that my family uh, and the world were better off if I was dead. It, it was a decision that I'd rationalised and suicide was the logical answer. Well, some very powerful messages there. Right, here's what's coming up on the rest of today's show. Martin Lewis is here with a warning for UK workers. Tell us what you're talking about today, Martin. 